Hey everybody, Ira Miller here with Homes Around the Villages YouTube channel and today we are out here at Villa Valdosta looking at a home at 3004 Marietta Lane for Chuck. So Chuck asked us if we would come out and check out this home because this home is listed only for $295,000 $295, for a block and stucco, two bedroom, two bath courtyard villa. That's an incredibly good price. So he was like, Ira, you know, can you go check this out for me? Because I don't understand why this, um, why this home is such a great price. So I said, sure, I'll come on out here and check it out for you. So um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go uh, do a little video on this home for Chuck. And we'll see what Chuck thinks about this video. And maybe he might want to put an offer in on this home. All right. So without further ado, why don't we go ahead and get started? And this is what the front of the house looks like. Nice little statue there in the front. And let's see here. Not sure about the roof. Um, I'd estimate it's probably about 10 years old. Painted walkway up to the front door now this model is called the Beauregard here in the um, courtyard series of homes nice stainless steel appliances gas range Stainless steel sink. Probably will need to replace the um, countertops. They do have uh, some spots in them. And most people would probably either, uh, would probably, you know, replace them with either quartz or granite. So anyways, so that's, at 295 you could definitely, um, Find some money to go ahead and do that. Estimate three or four thousand dollars. There's just a whole lot of space, counter space that you'd have to pay for for granite. A lot of people would probably paint the cabinets white. That's what I see a lot of people doing today. Little eat in kitchen area, right in the kitchen. One and a half car garage. The air conditioner looks newer. Let's see what we can see here. Uh, looks like a 2017. Okay. Washer and dryer out here in the garage. So in this model, in the Beauregard, you have the guest bathroom and with the guest bedroom. Okay. This is what the guest bedroom looks like. Don't really have any lights on the fan, so we don't have it lit up. But this is what the um, guest bathroom looks like. Now, what we're going to see when we go into the master bathroom, we are going to see the back side of this shower here. So that... Um, that faucet and handle 
We're going to see that when we go inside the master shower, and you'll see what I mean when we when we go back there. Okay. So the tile all in here leads the tile out there. That's your front entrance. And then your pass through from the kitchen. They do have a little patio area set up outside those, sli those sliding glass doors. Low ceilings, eight foot ceilings in here. Here's your enclosed lanai. There is an air conditioned vent or air conditioner vent out in here to keep this area cool. Now, normally you would see sliding glass doors on the other side of this wall. When they built this home, you had the option of going into the design center and designing your own home. And you could decide whether you wanted a sliding glass door or not. I kind of like the fact that you have more wall space, not only in the lanai, but in the master bedroom as well. So I really think it's kind of redundant to have a sliding glass door going right out from the master bedroom when you simply have to go right around here to go out. So I really feel like you'd get a lot more use out of the wall space rather than the convenience of going into the lanai from your master. I just don't know if that would be much of a convenience for you. All right, so this is the master uh, bathroom. And as you can see, there's some construction going on. As I had mentioned, there is that shower valve on the other side in the guest bathroom. Big walk-in closet. But they did have a, a small leak. And so they had to tear all of this out. And I don't see any mold. Little bit of rust. But it doesn't look like it's, it, it's affecting the integrity of those uh, metal studs. So it looks like they've done a good job ripping everything out where it should have been ripped out. And again, I'm not seeing any evidence of mold anywhere, so that's good. Um, now, a private toilet, which you don't see in these homes anymore. Okay, so that is pretty special to have a privacy toilet area and then here's your vanity and they've actually ripped a section out down there as well and it looks like water stains but I don't really see mold that would have, that's growing in there. It probably would have went right up that one little stud right there if there was an issue. So a lot of times what happens is they have what's called a shower pan inside these showers that they put a uh, tile on. And sometimes these shower pans, it's a, like a plastic membrane and they'll give way and they'll cause leaking um, right here at the threshold. But again, it looks like water stains, but I don't really see mold. So that's, that's the big thing you don't want to see. Uh, there you go. Little linen closet. So one more look. 
That wood's been tore out and should be put back in place sometime this week, I think I read. All right, last but not least, let's go on outside. We'll give you one more look at the living area before we go outside and see what the backyard looks like. So they've got it all graveled and no grass. You know, if you have a pet, you probably want some grass back here. But it's very private. And here's what it looks like on the other side of the sliding glass door. All right, there you go. So uh, let's take one more little peek at the condenser unit that they have out here. And again, it looks like it's a um, 2017 model. I don't see a manufacturing date but I can tell from the um, serial number. Alrighty, so there you go. We're gonna just do one quick walk through as we leave. Beautiful day in the villages, as they say, in Florida, I would say. Alrighty. One more perspective how the home lays out here, Chuck. Alright, so there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if uh, the rest of everybody out there on my YouTube channel is watching this, that means Chuck passed it up. He wasn't uh, interested in moving forward with making an offer, so I put it out there for all of you all to take advantage of this home, $295,000 with a, um, a block and stucco home. And location is pretty good, actually. We're just outside of um, the Savannah Center and where um, El Camino runs down to Spanish Springs. Or you could keep taking... Um, so I'd say from here, you're maybe 10 minutes from uh, Spanish Springs and maybe 12 minutes from Lake Sumter Landing. So it's a pretty good location. Glenview Country Club runs right around the back side of here. So you're right outside of Glenview Country Club. Great restaurant there at Glenview. Um, so a lot of stuff happening right here in this area. All right. So if Chuck, if you're interested, give us a call. You have my number. But uh, for everybody else, 352-454-9561 is my cell phone number. You can reach me directly or text me on my cell phone or if I don't answer right away and it's during the week, during working hours, please call Blakely at 352-204-9026. Let her know that you're interested in this um, Beauregard Courtyard Villa on 3004 Marietta Lane in Villa Valdosta, okay? I want to thank everybody for watching this video again, you know, Go ahead, and if you're not yet a subscriber, hit that uh, subscribe button. We'd love to have you as a subscriber. Hit the notification icon, because each and every time I make one of these videos, bam, you'll be notified and you know of all these special homes that uh, not only I'm finding, but everybody else out there kind of finds these homes, too, and calls me and asks me about these, and I'll tell them I'll come right out and make a video for you. 
as you saw here. So if I can do anything like that for you, please give me a call again, 352-454-9561. Love to hear from you. And uh, hopefully you're a subscriber already. Oh, and one last thing, give us the thumbs up on this. Okay, thanks a lot. We'll see you in our next video.